Yeah, I know, but, but they're, they're imperfect. Their belief in high power is insufficient. Prophet said that every human being is imperfect. And it's yes, I agree with that too. Um, no, but the point you are making. Does it include the property, piece of property? No, but the, the, so khata, khata is different. So the khata is. Khata, a prophet can do khata. Because the hadith said the khata, khata. Every human being create, does khata. Khata means mistakes. Okay? So a prophet can commit khata, can do a mistake. Clearly, he, he did because and there were reprimands in the Quran. No, no, not ah. satanic verse. Satanic verse, we don't believe in it. Yeah, it's, it's inauthentic, it's not true. It's a fabrication of the hadith. Yeah. So, but what we're saying is, if everybody, Adam and Khatta, all the human being is, uh, makes mistakes, that even the prophets make mistakes. But the, not all prophets commit sin, like major sins and all sins, generally speaking. So that's the distinction that we would make. But going back to the point, look, the, the, your general argument falls flat on its face because what you said is this. If you have somebody, listen, if you have somebody who is in a, who lived in an anti-Semitic or racist environment, he believes that Jews are bad. They're, he believes that they are subhuman, whatever he believes, yeah? yeah? And then me and you, because we are good people, let's say, in one, one regard, <laughs> one regard, uh, yeah, and we go to him and we say, listen. Aren't you a good person all the We don't know. I mean, I'm not, not, not really, actually. So I'll go to him and say to him, listen, um, we don't, this is false. You shouldn't believe in that because yeah, human beings like yeah, everyone yeah. else, there's no genetic component. Right. Whatever argument we want to say, yeah? yeah? And he says, no, I don't agree because of whatever citation he gives. Okay. Now, I will say after we've shown him the evidence, this guy is out of order. Would you agree with that? If he, if he wants to maintain that these, these Jewish, uh, Jewish, Jewish people are like subhumans, he's they're wrong. like animals, he's wrong. He's wrong. So I've ordered wrong, yeah? it, he's wrong. Oh, fantastic, beautiful, yeah? I'm saying, look, therefore me and you have accepted that you, you want, if one holds a position which they are shown uh, contrad contradictory evidence to, yeah? That, and they still maintain that position, that they're wrong. So uh, that's my position with religion. My position is that if, if someone t takes the atheistic position, the pantheistic position, the polytheistic yeah. position, and then they're shown evidence against their tradition, and then they continue with that, say they're wrong. They're, and so that's a moral value judgment. Yeah, but religious evidence goes all ways. I mean, there's people around here proving the other way. And really, in, in my view, the problem is because you, the Quran was always there. So it's as perfect as God in your eyes. So therefore, you're not allowed to point out mistakes. And the Bible also is. So no, no, in fact, the Quran says, go ahead and fight. But it's, yeah, it's, 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 it's probably like happened. God himself. And, so, and I think even the prophets sort of like that. I don't know, maybe not. But certainly need to. And therefore, so I do take it literally. So what do you do? Okay, if the Quran says to do jihad, so I can use um, in Syria and say, okay, it means a theological jihad, and that's maybe good. I can be thing and don't have to fight. Is that the simple meaning of the Quran? I don't know. Now it's comfort to, say, I for me to, I don't to get, say. Yeah, so yeah, um, you're saying the obvious. I don't. Yeah. Pardon? I mean, so what? The, the point is, so what? So the price is to pay. No, no, you said uh, consequence. You pray to God. Assuming God wants human beings, He made us eight billion people. He loves us. He wants us to prosper. He wants us to go. He doesn't want us to kill each other or necessarily hate each other. So when I take my religion fully and accept everything, I do literally or that. I pay also the price there. It's your logical price. So I what, may so gain what? the fact that my religion so, is perfect so, and my text is so perfect. Fine, and there's nothing yeah, wrong. Yeah, everything I understand that. I believe but the price listen, I pay listen, is. Listen, listen. Everything, it, everything in life. Everything I believe, almost any decision you make in life has a trade-off. Yes. Whether it's a psychological trade-off, a physiological one, or an economic one, or otherwise. If you decide that you want to do anything, there's going to be consequences, positive, ne negative, whatever you like. It doesn't mean just because there are consequences, there's a price to pay, as you keep saying, that one should be stopped from doing things. Look, I told you, I live in Israel, Palestine, okay? Okay. Most of the Jews around here, certainly people look like me, okay? Believe okay. the Jews was given the land uh, to Israel by that's okay. what the Bible says, yeah, yeah. Yes, okay? Yeah. A, a lot of the Muslims there believe since, since Omar ibn Khattab came, basically it's a, it's a land, you know, just like Spain and that. It's a land to stay by things. Okay. The, this complicates things. So what? And, and, People are killed, children are killed in Gaza. What do you mean, so what? No. God uh, wants that to happen? So, what, you, but God wants so, so, so you, 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 no, you, I mean, okay. See, no. what, so I mean, you've really deflected not, the fact that children are killed in Gaza. Yes. But, uh, how is that connected to that we can believe in what we want to believe in, you can believe in whatever you believe in, it's different? How is because, that, how are the two things connected? Because the totality of my belief, that every, if for instance, I believe the whole land is mine, 
there's no room for Jews there. And, and Jews believe the whole line there's no really room. I don't think so, you're being fair here. With uh, the, uh, I don't think that's what's going on, by the way. I mean, well, look, part of what's going look. On. And I'm not saying there's, the Jewish side is No, no, I don't agree yeah, with this yeah. whole thing. This, this okay. now, now you've shown your cards. So look, at the end of the have day, I? yes, you okay. have. So. This is not an equal situation. What's going on in Palestine? Okay, yeah, good. So this idea that this narrative that just because we believe in something different from, like I believe in something different from you. The question is not whether, oh, let's have uniformity of belief. No, or let's have parity. I, I understand. Or, but you, 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 it's, it's funny because you, you kind of went against Nazism, we said we were against it, yeah. but your proposition is that I'm we were... against the occupation. No, but why, should, why is the, oh, why is the only answer to how we should not be violent to each other as Muslims and uh, Arabs or whatever it is and, and Jews? Why is the only answer that we have to start believing something different now religiously? Not, not, not just, just I don't see, want you not to be a Muslim. No, I know, but you want me to believe in a specific... You want, me to, you want me to believe in a specific Islam which places the eschaton as this place where everyone can enter it and everyone can go to heaven. I think... Why, why is that the solution? Why is that the solution? Why is that the solution? Because if, if I don't believe in Tolo, where everyone who is not like me is not good in God's eyes, I can share. For the, what about the concept which really needs to happen as right the two states? where the Palestinians get their own state, or that they have fully participant citizens and they can vote, and then it will be a one-state solution where we okay, have let me, let me That's what the solution let, is, let, right? me let me tell you something. But, but when my ideology okay, is, okay. no, the land should be only Jews. No, the land should only be, be for the uh, Palestinians. Th then I, the, the total thing, and, and religion plays a part in it. Not all Palestinians are Muslim, but about 95% are Muslims. Are Muslim. Religion plays a part. Right? Let, me, let me tell you that. So, okay, let me, let me come back in. I'm not, exactly. sure, I'm not sure if you knew this or not. But from, let's say from 1948, from the establishment of the State of Israel, yes. up until like 1980, yeah? The, 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 the biggest discourse that was uh, f from the Arab side was actually, first of all, the biggest organization was the PLO, the, the Palestinian Liberation Organization, yeah? And they were a nationalistic organization. They were not a religious one. Now, you might not know this, but Israel actually funded Hamas. Now, hold on, hold on, let me explain. Israel funded Hamas in the 1980s, because they understood this idea of an enemy of an enemy is my friend. They saw that the major threat was the PLO and that Hamas was a splinter group that could be a disturber to the PLO. So even despite the fact that the religious discourse was not the, pre the prevailing discourse from the years 1948 to 1980, before the establishment of um, uh, Hamas, even it, Hamas wasn't even established. All right. So even before the establishment of Hamas, even though the, the main discourse was actually a nationalistic one, Yes, the Arafahs and all that kind of stuff. They weren't really, they weren't putting the Islamic discourse as the main thing. It was for them a Palestinian struggle. Yes, Islam was there as a supporting argument, but it wasn't the main one. And what I'm saying in that time, even then you had issues. So the assumption, is, let me finish. The assumption, this assumption, that if you remove religious uh, belief that, you know, there's, there's only one people that can go to heaven or something like that, or per perennialism or universalism, it will lead to more, a better outcome in terms of, uh, casualty deaths and less wars is one that's actually unsubstantiated in the literature and in fact to the contrary because if you look at I mean this is a very basic argument but if it was a lack of religiosity or religious uh, exceptionalism yeah which would actually produce produces what you say it produces which is a lack of wars then why is it the case that we find the biggest casualties in human history are uh, occur at the hands of people who don't even believe in religion for example World War One and World War Two for example the Holocaust itself the Holocaust itself it wasn't necessarily because you are uh, religious Jews, it was an ethnic issue, it was a racist issue, they were racist people. So the point is, is that it was a nationalistic struggle, okay? And what I'm saying to you is, this assumption that the in-group, out-group prefer preferential um, understanding, that this will be eliminated somehow if we remove religious ex eschatological exceptionalism, or soteriological exceptionalism. I don't think that's no. something which is no, justified. Not by itself, but it's two sides of the same coin. Obviously, nationalism and racism is much worse, okay? So you're a, you're a step above that, right? You don't think white people have been a black people or brown people think any of that, I assume, which is great. Certainly, if they're all Muslims, they're your brothers just the same, which is great. But if someone's not your brother, is not a Muslim... Then what? Well... Then what? Well, they're not as loved by God, I don't know. They're not so as, what? So what? What? So no. what? So, First of all, you're entitled to it. No, no. I mean, so, uh, what? How does that translate? No, I if I say, look, if I say, if I say to you, as a Muslim, Muslimina kal ma lakum kayfa The Quran says that very clearly. You're right. Yeah. She will make the Muslims like the criminals. How is it that you judge? 
Muslims are, we believe, someone who believes in God. Uh, the Quran does say this. You know, in Surah Rad, that should we, uh, does the one who knows that the truth is revealed from Allah, is like the one who is blind. That the ones who have true knowledge will understand this point. In other words, we don't, we do not. From, from an intrinsic perspective, we say that someone who believes in God is in a soteriological and eschatological advantage. But it doesn't mean to say as a result of it now, we're going to start uh, imposing measures or starting wars. But some people do, right? No, um, some people do that with the people of their own faith. I, I want to ask the question, what evidence do you have? What evidence do you have okay. that religious exceptionalism, yeah. well, let's be very clear, religious soteriological or eschatological exceptionalism, yeah. Yeah, or metaphysical exceptionalism, what evidence do you have that such exceptionalism creates more by way of violence and war. Okay, so there you go. Then any other system. If it was only psychological exceptionalism, I wouldn't have a problem. Because at the end of days, let them come. They're always there to come. They never actually come. Always, in the future, let's worry about them. Okay? But there are things happening in the world today. If, what evidence if you have? If all the worry was that, you know, when Jesus comes, everyone non Christian and killed, and Muhammad comes and things, with, with Jesus there, and the Masih and the Mahdi and everything, then it's fine. You know, the end of the day, let them come and then we'll worry about it. But the things that are happening today, now I agree with you, national acceptance is much worse. Racism and nationalism is much worse. That plays a big part. And I'm not for, um, I don't know if this will be yeah, the Hamas, Hamas is more extreme, but I don't know if it's for what happened in Egypt, yeah? Where the West is supporting Sisi as a dictator, just to the Muslim Brothers. I don't agree with that, I think that's wrong. Okay, I can, I, can, I, can I make okay. this? Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, okay. I'm just saying that all the stuff is accepted, I think, look, again, if I'm going back to where I live, some of the fighters, what's the problem there? Okay, from the Jewish side. Well, whoever's not Jewish shouldn't be ruling this land because this was given to us to God. And for the Muslim side, what are they kidding? I'm part of it. You know, I'm not saying all, it's not equal. Okay, and I think there are a lot of Muslims, but there are some Muslims, and there are. Okay, also come out and Islamic Jihad. But believe really, Jews shouldn't be there. All this should be okay. Islamic land. The okay, said, okay. shouldn't have any uh, kind can, of food. Can I, I retort now? Yes. I understand what you're saying. I'm saying, look, if you were to present this as some kind of a sociological investigation, which is basically the idea that, you know, you have this idea of metaphysical exceptionalism, religious exceptionalism, which is that you believe that someone is intrinsically advantaged for believing in X things and that he will be in heaven and the other person will be in hell, all that kind of stuff. Call it what you like. Soteriological exceptionalism, metaphysical exceptionalism, eschatological exceptionalism, or all of the above. Now, what is it in null hypothesis? In other words, if you want to make a comparison, there needs to be something to compare to. So in other words, if I'm saying to you now, if you remove religious exceptionalism, what do you put in this place? You put maybe universalism, which is maybe what you're, or perennialism. The idea that we should, we're all, there's all pathways to truth. Okay. Now my question is, in, how can you prove, if that is your null hypothesis point of comparison, that perennial, or a perennialist uh, people, for example, in any anthropological or sociological setting, will have a lesser proclivity to starting wars and causing violence than people who are non-soccer. Non Let me give you an example. We're living in the UK. Let me just make it close to home, yeah? We're living in the UK. There's one million Muslims in London, okay? Which is, a, there's like, what? 10 million people and maybe 9 million people according to the census, okay? So the majority of people, overwhelming majority are not Muslims in London. Yeah, I think you'd agree with this. Maybe 15% are Muslim and the rest are non-Muslims. So the vast majority. The UK, 50,000 people according to, According to national statistics, 50,000 people get stabbed a year. Now that's almost 4,000 people a month or something like that, right? Now I, I would like to posit to you and submit to you that the reason why people are stab stabbing each other in this very country is not due to religious difference or because of some kind of eschatological exceptionalism. I'm going to say to you that people stab each other because of gang warfare and because of what is referred to in psychology as in-group, out-group dynamics. You, human beings, in and of their nature, will cause violence, yes, will cause violence for whatever reason because they are, these are the others and therefore they need to be attacked. They, they, so what I'm saying is, whatever you try and replace religious and metaphysical exceptionalism with, you'll still be left with the human psychological proclivity, yeah, to cause violence as a result of difference. So what I'm saying is that your, your efforts here are in vain and they're fruitless because actually what, what we should be focusing on it's not whether or not in-group, out-group, dynamic type thinking is going to happen with human beings. 
In fact, the tribal nature of human being is something that is almost uneradicatable from the human uh, okay. psyche. I, I, I believe so, but based on the fact that there's strong psychological evidence that that's what we need as human beings in order to self-actualize or to be psychologically in a, in a better state. That we can have identification markers that demarcate us from other human beings. How, what I'm saying, therefore, is that the answer is not to try and eradicate all those markers of difference. The answer is, how do we work mechanistically within our own areas of difference with other people, of, with, a different, with different people? Me as a Muslim, you as a Jew. The answer is not like, I have to believe that you're going to go to heaven, even if you don't believe in Prophet Muhammad. I don't have to believe in any of that. No, of I can don't. believe you're going to go to hellfire and stay there all your life. Right. But still believe, it's not a contradictory belief for me to believe in that, and also to believe that I have to be good to you and kind to you. And that you, and that you uh, I give you exact rights that I would give any Muslim neighbor, any Muslim friend, whatever it is. I can I still can operate even in the even same... I'm going to hell. That's interesting. Yes. Because I'm trying to eradicate... I can even, you can even, not, Islamically, not Islamically, a man, Muslim man, can marry a Jewish or a Christian wife. How can you... Ask, answer me this one question. How can you have a Christian or, or a Jewish wife? No, no, no. She, she stays Christian or she stays Jewish. She stays Christian. She is Christian. Well, you kind of a Christian husband. A no, wife. I know because we don't believe in uh, gender equality in the same way as feminist second wave would, would, would believe in it. And also because of assimilation. Yeah, there's other reasons. But the point is, is this. If I say this, if a Muslim man marries a Christian woman, Islam doesn't say he can't love her. Islam actually, in fact, Islam, in, Islam indicates that, the, that you can love them and that's not, there's no sin in that. How does Islam indicate that? When Abu Talib, who was a, the Prophet Sallallahu uncle, they, were, they loved each other. The Prophet Sallallahu was very much grieved by his death. Allah revealed, That you cannot, you will not guide who you love, but Allah guides whoever he will. So Allah affirmed that he loves, a, the Prophet Muhammad loved this Abu Talib who ended up dying as a pagan. The point being is, and he, in fact, there's narrations that he'll be in the hellfire. So you can love someone that you're going to think that's going to be in the hellfire. You can, the Prophet Muhammad loved his uncle. A man can love his wife, whether she's Jewish or Christian. And this is what the scholars refer to as al-hubb al tabii that natural love. Natural love is something like, imagine you have a mother that's a Christian or a Jew. Many reverse have this uh, situation. It doesn't mean that you're going to hate them now. No, no. So I think we have to demarcate the eschatological dimension or the soteriological dimension with the, 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 the worldly dimension. If, we, if we're able to do so, that's fine. Okay, but two points there. First of all, I'm, I'm trying to eradicate the in-group thinking, not, not difference. I want multiculturalism. I don't think we need to look or sound differently. But yes, the in-group thinking, which religion is only one of the proponents of, is what brings a lot of the strife. I don't have in-group thinking. I don't love people in my group more than others. <laughs> I live in Israel. I don't like Israelis, not like Palestinians. I, 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 I beg to differ. I, I, I think you're, I think you're I deceiving think, yourself with that. Sir, let, me, let, me give, let me tell you why. But, uh, let me tell you why. Have, have you got them. children? Yes, I do. All right. Imagine now you walk in the street, yeah? I mean, you got a son, yeah? Yeah. How old is he? He's like? 18. Okay, let, imagine now he's 12, 10. You see two people drowning in the sea. Your son and another boy. That's exactly the same age. Okay? Are you with me now? Yeah, yeah. And you, can only, and you can only save one. Who are you going to save? Well, the first question is what God wants me to do. Now, what, do you, what are you going to do? Just let's, let's be honest. And, uh, no, I will try to do what God wants me to do. Right? What are you going to do? Your two people are drowning, your son and another 10-year-old who are the same okay. age. Who are you going to go for? But let me give you the reason. My son, because I brought him into this world. Okay. That's not in group thinking. Okay. That's for individuals I brought into this world. The responsibility that I have for that from God, from nature, is something else completely. Okay, can That's I, different. let me retort. Okay. What you've done is you've given a reason, yes, which is why, why would you prefer your own, biological own, over somebody else? My and own. then you've offered a justification. Hold on, hold on. You've offered a justification. I have now the reason. fact, I have no, no problem, but the fact that you've offered a justification doesn't nullify the fact that you have the preference. The justification does not stop the fact. Now, what I'm saying is, therefore, every human being in their nature is going to think like this. Is, I mean, most human beings, I'm not going to say every single. Most human beings will do what you've done. If you saw your son, 10-year-old, and another 10-year-old drowning, you'll go for your son, even though, cause if, you can only, if you can only save one. I don't think that's wrong. You feel like there's an added responsibility that you have over your own son because he's in your family, then the other one, because, you, because of whatever reason you brought him into the world, because of your semen, uh, you know, was the reason why he became into the world, which others would say is inconsequential. But what I'll say is this: Yeah, no problem. Okay. Yeah, no problem.
But what I'm saying is, now, at what point does that reasoning start to become illegitimate? As Muslims, we say that in group thinking... How can I stop children? Why? How? What? Because... Why? If your mum was drowning you know and a woman... Why? If your mum was drowning, yes. and, um, and another woman of the... Let's say your mum is, let's just say, 70 years old. Another 70 year old woman was... You had to save one. Who would you save? I don't know. Again, I have to save... What would you do? I, let me... Can I answer for a second? Yeah, of course. Okay. Obviously, I'm a Ashkenazi Jew. A lot of my children, uh, my dad's side, parents in the Holocaust, my mom's side watching the story. Because my dad's side. Well, we call we have righteous among the nation. We have this big museum called Yad Vashem and, and thing. Polish, mostly Polish Catholics, all kinds of non-Jews who were in terrible occupation themselves by the Germans, who went out of their way, sometimes risked their lives to save Jews. If they had it in group thinking, they, no Jews would be saved by them. So when I think about it, you know, from the people, why do you fight so much for Palestinians? Why do you worry about your own? You know, how can we give you charity Palestinians? What about your own? I say, if I think that in group thinking, that doesn't bring, it, it doesn't bring love in the world. If I'm just taking my money, all the charity, all the zakah, all the things, I'm doing just for my people. Yes, there's a, there's a big price to pay. It doesn't bring, I mean, what would I expect someone else also to do only for them? What would you be admiring more? Christian, helping as a Christian, or going out of his way to help a Muslim? Okay, what listen, do you appreciate no, no. and say, wow, that's an amazing oh, guy? I understand. But you're, you're, I mean, you're, you've kind of veered away from the topic at hand. Did I? Uh, yeah, because what I'm saying is I'm, trying to, show, to, me, I'm, I'm trying to show you that which you are trying to argue against is that which you have a, a proclivity to still what well, I'm, I'm saying to you, even, 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 ego. I have an even, ego I'm trying to take no, hold, hold, hold where is it, where is it no, coming no, from no no but it's a moralization you've you made a justification I'm when it children, came, yes. yes child, yes. child yes. yes and, and your mother my other I was de deliberating but again if I make a okay, good you're, you're about. Uh, let me yeah, ask you a question but okay. I just want to say if I do something well, out of just, ego that doesn't give, mean give me a second. I believe God give, wants give me a second give me a second say you've got a neighbor call him Bob Okay. And you got another individual. Yes. Your Bob is uh, Bob is 30 years old. 30? Yeah. Okay. Forget about race or religion. Bob is drowning. Another person is drowning there. You can only save one. Who are you going to save? I don't know. Bob's my uncle? No, I'm kidding. Uh, Bob, wait. One I know and one I don't know? Is that one true? is your neighbor. My neighbor. Yeah. I think I'll try to turn the other considerations. Who's more at risk? Who's that? No, but same, same, same. Everything is the same. I don't know if I need. I don't. Look, I also don't know. Hey, he's, he's calling your name as well. What? <laughs> I, I'm sure, I did try and appear there right away. Listen, I don't know them. Look, but, but I think, I you're think... asking me what I'm doing. I'm asking like this. I ask what. You know, why I stop thinking. What does God want me to do? That's why I keep thinking. Well, what does what what God want me to do? What does God say? Allah, about, what what does God say in the Old Testament about the neighbor? Love thy neighbor. Okay, great. So but the way I understand it is love everyone. You my neighbor as well. No, no, I understand. But let's say your your actual neighbor, your next door neighbor. I don't know if it's literally. Okay, great. In the Hebrew, there's no neighbor. Right okay, way. fine. Hebrew is Rachel, which is friend, which is who knows, okay. maybe in group. Okay. Do you understand what I'm saying? What I'm trying to do with you here? I'm trying to say this 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 but, fake. But just, no, but what's fake? You say that, that, you have an ego, yeah. and sometimes you prefer your own. Maybe. But I'm not trying to make God. No, 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 God has no, no, 8 billion people. Jesse, bro. He doesn't prefer Jesse, when you God are, doesn't prefer when you, are, when you are moralizing, yes. you are saying, I brought my son into the world. That's why I would save him over the other right. one. Okay, you get you offered a justification for a type of in-group thinking. I gave a reason. No, I gave a reason why God wants me to do it. God doesn't prefer my son to someone else. He doesn't prefer Bob to someone else. That's for sure. Okay? Okay. God doesn't like me more than he likes you. No, but, then, but, but no, no, but I, okay. we're, not, we're not talking so, about that. No, so... We're, so, we're talking no. about practical implications. That's no, what you so were talking about. If you're asking me, what would you do in my time of Would you have God or would you just do what you want to think? Maybe. I'm not perfect. I'm not saying I never, but I can say that. I certainly try to be outside in group thinking. I don't think it's healthy. I don't think that's what makes me a good person if I take care of my own. I think it's a business when I take care of someone else. Now, not only, and it doesn't mean I can, can neglect. Charity does begin at home. I can't neglect my own children. Which I brought ah, up. Okay. Ah, you can't, can you? No, that I can't. Okay, but, can I ask you? But a if I wait, if do, I... do you know, if you take this this idea to its logical extreme, there's a guy called Peter Singer, yeah? Have you heard of him? He's a, util he's a utilitarian. Okay. He's making utilitarian arguments. And one of the things okay. that he said was that if you eat food, like an extravagant meal, you're killing kids in Africa or something like that, right? But if you think about it, that money could have been given. You see, that's a butterfly effect. No, 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 hold on. Okay. If you think clearly about what he's saying, yeah? yeah? He's saying if you look at causes and effects, and if you look at the fact that you have this money, which could otherwise, there's an opportunity cost with the money, right? You have, let's say, 100 pounds. Do you, do you go to a restaurant sometimes with your wife? 
Yeah, or the XY, did you used to go? I Maybe that's why the divorce happened, sorry to say. No, <laughs> <laughs> but let's say you go to a kosher restaurant with your wife, yeah? yeah? <laughs> or your ex-wife or whatever, or your, new, or, or your new wife. Yeah, okay. Yeah? And you sit there and you eat some meats or whatever, yeah? yeah? All right. Now, do you feel like you're killing people? An animal was killed. No, no, not human ah. beings, human. Humans? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't Okay, care. because if you take it to its logical extreme, you are pleasing your ex-wife or whoever it is at the expense of money that could otherwise have been used for charity for Africa. And I'm not saying that's, I'm not saying you're wrong for going to the restaurant, by the way. I'm, I'm just saying this idea of in-group, out-group, if you take it to its extreme, everything that you do will have an opportunity cost. And if we consider, that's why in Islam, let me tell you, in Islam, we have very clear guidelines of who we give money to, who we befriend, how we befriend them, all these kind of things. In terms of charity, for example, so Ibn Abi Ta'ul, start with those who are closest to you. Actually, if you have people in your family who need... Okay, so yeah, yeah. You, if you so, start with someone close to you, you'll never get to me. I'm too far. Is that right? We have the same thing, by the way, in the town. Okay? The city... It's no, but that, so, so, do you, do you, I'll have never you, give you ever, There's always people around Jesse, those have people. You ever so, thought, have you ever thought guilty or as if you were doing something immoral by eating money, uh, eating food and paying money in a restaurant that could have otherwise been given to kids in Africa? No, because... Great. Why not? Well, yeah, first of all, we listen to a thing. And I've been interested you can, you can give me the 10 stuff fit. You don't give all your money away. Because then you're spot No, I'm not. I mean, on your view, which is not religious yeah, anyway. Okay. So, yeah, go ahead. No. I, yeah, no, I, look, first of all, because I'm only one messenger of God, one of 8 billion. I can't save the whole world, okay? I come here, fly in, think I'm going to save the world. I can't. I can't a few things. Maybe change one mind. Usually not. Okay? So, um, I'm going to give it to my own children. <laughs> the point is that, um, so, I'm not going to save the whole world, okay? And yeah, you know, you know when you're young, American, I say, yeah, the children in India, finish your food, because children in India are starving. And, okay, but and if you finish your food, they won't be starving. So, I, I can try and hope. I'm no. not going to save the whole world. It doesn't mean I don't do anything. Uh, okay, but, no, see, I, I, see, don't, I don't know what the problem is. Why do I have to... Do, do you, you disagree with that? Saying? By the way, you're just... saying because I can't save the whole world, so, so I shouldn't try to no. do anything. All I'm saying this is this. Your idealistic idea of yeah. in-group, out-group, preference which yes. you're trying to eradicate in reality you don't live by that because if you did live by that you'd save you would have you saved the other kai you would have tossed a coin before you went and saved. Well, if i don't live by that maybe no, my ego that, 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 maybe i'm not doing what no, no 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 bro yeah, okay. yeah, no, listen yeah. you said you would, if there were two boys that were drowning in the sea you drown your and you had only the tetris parabus everything was the same except for the fact that you save one of them you'd save your son over the other because you brought him into the world i'm saying that that's an in-group type of mentality you put your family before the you put your family before the collective will of all humanity. But God no, gave let me, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Okay. Now, number one. Number two, you've given that justification. Now I'm saying that we're I'll say too much. We're going. Are coming? Yeah, all right. We're done now. We go. Alright, brother. Oh, okay. Okay. By the way, just one question. Yes. Do you disagree with the fact that Jews are the chosen people? Shalom. Pardon? Do you disagree with that? Yes, there's no chosen people. Alright, so you reject your old testament. Pardon? You reject it. There was a holocaust of people being the chosen people and they tried to eradicate mine. No, there's no people of anything. No. So you reject your 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 your. I an reject that as you're an apostate. I keep it. I don't know what I said. I keep my religion pretty strict. All right. I don't yeah. accept. Not the look of it. <laughs> <laughs> Take care, my friend. Yeah. Yeah.